Hey guys, Kevin Getz here from Profit with another free YouTube lesson. Today, oh, before I get started, yes, this is a completely different staging area for these videos. Hopefully I'll be doing more of these here because I like it a lot better. Uh, anyway, today we're going to be talking about how to practice guitar in your sleep. Yeah, think about that for a second. Have you ever had this experience where you're doing, like, math homework right before you go to bed? And then you just immediately go to bed or even fall asleep doing your homework? And then you continue to solve math problems in your dreams? There's a reason for that, and essentially what's happening is your brain is continuing to focus on the task that you were focusing on before you fell asleep. And it, it further practices whatever it was supposed to be practicing without conscious direction. And there's a way to take advantage of that for music, and a way to deliberately access that state. Now, if you have any prior experience with anything like meditation, uh, probably stick to your own methods, whatever works for you, but I'm going to detail a very simple way to, uh, to, to do this for beginners. So, essentially, what you want to do is you're going to start at the toes. And you're going to just imagine, you inhale, you imagine tensing your toes. Don't actually tense them, but imagine it. Then imagine relaxing them. Toes, soles of the feet, ankles, calves, thighs, oh right, knees, thighs, whatever. Every joint, every muscle group from the legs, then start in the fingers, go up the arms, and then you can do just kind of down the torso, whatever. You're going to do like five repetitions of each. And this is just a very simplistic method. Uh, and what you'll probably experience is kind of a feeling that your limbs are very, very heavy, almost uncomfortably so. Um, and it's okay if you don't get that feeling, and it's okay if you can't do this, just hear me out. That state is kind of this half-awake, half-asleep kind of state, and it is in that moment that you're going to, well, it's more than a moment, it's in that state that you're going to start to pretend to practice guitar. So say you have a specific lick that you've been trying to get while you're awake, and you just can't do it. You're going to imitate the muscle movements, but you're not going to move. So, for instance, with a major scale, you would kind of mime it, something like this, except you wouldn't actually move, you just kind of... You just imagine that you're doing it, very, very uh, forcefully but gently, imagine that you're doing it. And what that will accomplish is it starts to wire a pattern in your brain. And you just do it over and over and over again until you just start to naturally drift off to sleep. And what you'll find is that when you wake up, suddenly that is a whole lot easier to do. And sometimes you may even dream that you're playing the lick. You might not, it might be a completely black dreamless sleep, but the end result will be the same. Your brain has been forming new neural pathways all night long based around how to do that. And this is just an incredibly good way to quicken your progress on guitar. Because, I mean, imagine how much we can do if we can practice while we're asleep. Literally practice in your sleep. Opens up so much new potential. One warning, I've heard of some people getting really weird dreams while doing this. Uh, I mean, it, it's, they dream about guitar, but for whatever reason, the dreams are so lucid that they don't feel entirely rested when they wake up, and they can, in fact, be very groggy. If that happens to you, I would say discontinue this for about a week and then try it again. Because it may be that at that time, your brain is in a chemical state where you're just not ready to experiment with it. That's fine. Just try again later. Alright, that's going to be it for now. Um, if there's anything you'd like to hear more about, leave a note in the comments. If you liked what you saw, feel free to check out some playlists on my channel that cover more lessons like this, and feel free to subscribe while you're there. If you want to help me out at all, the best thing you can do is share this video on Facebook, Twitter, whatever you use, and uh, again, subscribing is really helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, see ya!